Divisional round is upon us. We have two big bets of the weekend, and it all starts right now. Thanks everyone for joining us here at Grandstand Betters. It's Matt as always from GrandstandBetters.com. Go check us out. Become part of our family. If you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? We have free picks, free predictions all year long. Do it now. Hit that like button and keep us going in 2021. But without further ado, let's get in to our two major bets of the divisional round playoffs in the NFL. And we're going to start with the AFC, and it's going to be the Ravens versus the Buffalo Bills. Both of these teams had great matchups last week and came out victorious. The Ravens played Tennessee, uh, stomped all over their logo, and then left the field in a winning fashion. The Bills, on the other hand, had to hold off the pesky Colts, but did so, and they face each other here. Uh, the Bills will be home in this matchup as they are the two seed. Allen threw for 324 yards last week, two touchdowns, no interceptions, looked really well. Also had 11 rushes for 54 yards and a touchdown. Um, he actually was the leading rusher on their team last week. Uh, their, their rushing offense did not look good. Singletary and Moss didn't really give them much to work with. But Allen uh, threw enough and run, ran enough to get uh, on the scoreboard and pull out that victory. He did target Diggs a lot. Uh, he had six receptions, 128 yards for a touchdown. Their defense is what worries me in this matchup. They gave up a ton of rushing yards to the Colts, 163 yards with one touchdown, um, and they gave up over 309 yards passing to Phillip Rivers. I'm not really worried about the passing. Uh, they were up in the game. Phillip Rivers had to throw more. But the rushing is going to be the key in this game, and the rushing defense of the Bills is not great because on the other side of the football, you have Lamar Jackson. What did he do last week? Oh, you know, just a cool 179 through the air and 136 on the ground. Uh, yes, his passing isn't there. He didn't have any touchdowns. And he did throw an INT. Um, he is growing in that aspect, but one place that he's not growing and he is an expert in is rushing. 16 carries, 136, as I mentioned, in a touchdown. Their rushing attack as a whole is pretty much unstoppable. They have uh, Dobbins, uh, himself, Jackson, and Edwards. 35 carries for 236 yards last week for two touchdowns. Uh, you know, if you're giving up 163 to the Colts, um, you're going to give up a lot to the Ravens, and I think the Ravens have the offense to get by the Bills. Uh, their defense shut down Henry, absolutely shut him down. 18 carries for 40 yards. It's embarrassing, um, especially if you're coming off a 2,000-plus yard season. Tannehill, 165 with a touchdown interception. That interception cost him the game at the end there. Um, but in overall uh, defense, they only allowed 51 total yards rushing last week. And even the Bills, uh, even though Josh Allen's a rushing quarterback, I think they can contain him. And we're going to take the Ravens plus two and a half here, which is a little interesting. We gave out the Bills as our Super Bowl winner. Um, this is a good spot where I think the Ravens can win outright. Um, which is hedging our bet a little there. So we're going to make this a four-unit play. Um, on the other hand, if you lose the four units and the Bills move on, you are you got that Super Bowl winner in the, bot, uh, the top four teams that will be left, and you got them at a good price, uh, so you're still going to end up with a profit there. So a lot of our uh, comments last week, I asked for, what's your Super Bowl matchup? A lot of people put the Bills in it. Uh, scared us a little because you're agreeing with us too much, and we don't like when the public is always with us. Um, but, uh, and we'll have our raffle here in a minute, but the Bills uh, hedging them a little here, I think, is the right move. And they, hey, who knows? They could kick a last-minute field goal, win by one, and you get the cover, which would be the best of both worlds. Uh, so take the Ravens plus two and a half in this matchup. Now, we have an AFC matchup, right? So we probably are going to go over to the NFC. Not so fast, my friends, as Dick Vitale would tell you. 
We're going to go to the other AFC matchup. This is lopsided, and I don't think the books could even put up a big number uh, high enough for me to not take Kansas City. They're minus 10 uh, over Cleveland Browns, and I'm going to tell you right now, everybody knows I'm a Browns fan. This is a huge Browns Cleveland channel. Uh, I'm wearing the Jets outfit because I lost a bet about six weeks ago, so I do hold up my own uh, bets, and I do owe you guys wearing the Jets throughout the Super Bowl. Although, hey, let me know. Put in the comments, uh, if the Browns did make the Super Bowl, can I put the Browns jersey back on? Uh, probably not. You'll probably tell me no, but I think I should be able to. Anyways, KC minus 10 over Cleveland. Cleveland last week, Baker was 263, three touchdowns. Uh, he hasn't had thrown an interception since November 1st. Nick Chubb and Hunt, uh, 26 carries, 124, two touchdowns. And they spread out the ball really well to seven different receivers. Uh, their defense had five turnovers last week uh, against, or I'm sorry, they had four, yeah, five turnovers against the Steelers. Uh, they had four interceptions against Big Ben. Um, but I'm going to tell you right now, their defense is awful. This whole season, as a Browns fan, has been a facade. Last week, the Browns didn't beat the Steelers. Everybody in Cleveland is like, oh, we won, we won. The Steelers lost that game. Big Ben kept giving us field position on like the 20-yard line in the first quarter. We got out to a 28-point score, and all Baker Mayfield had to do was not screw it up, and all the defense had to do was hold him to like 40 points or less. And we almost did screw that up. I'm not going to lie. I live bet the Steelers as a Browns fan last week. It almost worked out for me. On the other hand, in this game, you got Casey. They had a week off. They're the number one seed. Mahomes and company, they've scored 30-plus points per game. 4,700 yards throwing for Mahomes and 38 touchdowns this year. Hill, top receiver, 15 touchdowns. This guy averages 14.7 yards per catch. Against that Cleveland uh, defense, I'm telling you right now, that could go up to 30 yards per catch this week. Uh, their defense, 22 takeaways. They're pretty decent. Cleveland's given all, uh, over the ball 17 times. I know I mentioned Baker hasn't thrown an interception since November 1st. Baker is going to throw an interception in this game. The pressure is going to get to him. Cleveland's just not there yet. Okay, I'm going to give it to you straight. As a Browns fan, they are a playoff team. They should have lost to Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh really shot themselves in the foot. Take KC minus 10, another four-unit play. That's two four-unit plays we're giving you this week. Before we go, I did ask you guys to put your Super Bowl matchups. I would give away some Grandstand Better swag. So I have a raffle. We're gonna pull a name out of a hat right now. Give away a nice sweatshirt. All you have to do if you're the winner is email grandstandbetters at gmail.com and we will ship it to you free of charge and uh, you can pick out what color sweatshirt you want. Before we pull that name though, I wanna let everybody know that, hey, we are thinking about giving our free plays of the day out every single day on YouTube, maybe in a short video of one minute or less. If you think you would like those free plays, if you want as many free plays as you can get, please just comment below. Tell us that you want free plays. Tell us what sports you want the free plays in, and we're going to make it happen for you in the upcoming months and year. All right, so put down below what sport, what free plays you want, and we're going to do it. So real quick, I have a hat. Uh, sorry, it's the Browns hat. That's the only one I have uh, for all you guys that are Browns haters. But guess who was a hater this week on the Browns? Yeah, we were, because they're going to lose to KC. Minus 10, don't forget that. All right, free swag coming your way, and... We have Andy O. Andy O. Please email grandstandbetters at gmail.com and we will get you a sweatshirt, any color, your, uh, and tell us your size as well. And we'll ship that to you wherever you may be in the world. I hope you're not in Australia because the sweatshirt is only $50 probably and it's probably $100 to ship to you. So please don't be in Australia. All right. Hey, that's it for us here on Grandstand Betters. Four unit plays this week, Ravens plus two and a half, KC minus 10. That's it for us. Get out of here. Go enjoy the weekend. Enjoy football. And as always, let us do the work while you do the winning.